What's up, y'all? Welcome to Nucleus Esports. I'm your host, Byron Kent, and today we're going to talk to you about some Rocket League Week 4 highlights. We got Overwatch, a little bit of 2K news, and some Call of Duty news. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. And make sure you follow us at all our social media handles at Nucleus underscore Esports. Now let's get into it. It's week four in the Rocket League Championship Series, one week away from the final week. And here are the top highlights from week four. Now AXB, easy touch for him. But straight to Lucian, memory gets the demo. Oh, it's typical, oh. and Lucian drops down on the ball. The airstrike from Illusion. They needed somebody to step up, and Illusion does it. Unbelievable finish in game three. And Turbo didn't even react, didn't see him coming. That's been the story. Turbo getting bumped, getting demoed. The Knights just have a cloaking device when it comes to Turbo, and that pinch. Wow. Here's Justin, he's already up. He was floating across the field and missed. That's a tough one to get in front of, and Turbo makes him pay. And it all started with that pinch that just launched the ball up. Justin getting the touch and missed, pumped into the crossbar. He actually jumped and hit it with his face and still almost managed to make that save. In Overwatch news, the 2019 Overwatch World Cup rosters have been announced. South Korean World Cup roster includes DPS, Carpe, Architect, and Haxel, Tanks, Mano, and Choyobin. Their support, IDK, and Bedozen, and their coaches are Krusty and Lime. Canada World Cup roster will include DPS, Agility, Mangachu, Shore 4. Their tanks are XQC and Note. Their support is Kremzo and Benny. And they will be joined by head coaches Ticka T and Jane, and also Car Q. China's World Cup team will include DPS Aline and Genmu, tanks Guzhui and Elsa, their support Kyo and Ivelta, their coaches Rui, Tutu, and Zhao Gui. France's World Cup roster includes DPS Leaf. Soon and Hardest. The tanks are Chubbs and Tech 36. The support is FD God and Hype. And their coaches is Wrath, D Gun, and Trauma. And finally, the US World Cup team will include DPS Corey, Sinatra, and KFF. Their tanks, Super and Space. Their support. Raucous and Moth, and their coaches, Arrow, Ballin, and Fresh. All the boost left on the pitch, sometimes it puts them in tough spots. But when it works, they are so hard to lock down because they own the entire field. Yeah. All the resources belong to them. They use the boost to get boost, and then they use more boost to put themselves in this kind of position. Illusion back to Atomic. Illusion used everything in the tank just to get the pass to Atomic. Memory has a shot here, and they're, they're, they're just slapping G2. It's not even a contest right now. Three goals to nothing. You would have thought that JNF should have got this save. I need to take another look at it because he was coming in. He just slipped a little bit too much, like prematurely. And I'm, I'm sitting here shocked because that's a save he's got to hit. Downfield off the backboard and pinched away by Mist. Roll this keeping it in front, no one cracking on either team. Missed up high, Chiro. Just can't get up towards that ball, Reddles. Keeps it off in the corner, rolls is again another clear. Gyro pitches it high, off the backboard, Gyro comes for free! Pittsburgh stay, they get the reverse sweep against the Birds, they win the series. Even after the huge missed opportunity, the Knights still fight through and they win this battle of both teams coming from the new era. 
In 2K news, it's been a lot of trades. And with these trades, season three is shaping up to be a good one. Goofy was traded from the Knicks to Grizz Gaming for a first and a second round pick. Doza was traded from Raptors Uprising to Cavs Gaming for a second round pick. Demon JT was traded from the Wizards to the Pistons for a second round pick. Majestic was traded from the Heat to Blazers Gaming for a first round pick. And last but not least, Rando was traded from Hawks Talon to Nets GC for a first round pick. Also, Hornets Venom GT unveiled their uniform for their inaugural season. In Call of Duty news this week, the Atlanta Phase has announced their starting lineup. The starting lineup will include Simp, Abizi, Priesta, Salism, and Major Maniac. In other Overwatch news, more trades and signings have been announced. Tuba was picked up by the Washington Justice. Kariv left the LA Valiant to join the Toronto Defiance. Young Jim was released by Shanghai. The Philadelphia Fusion says goodbye to EQO, Neptuno, Elk, and KYB. The Paris Eternals picked up Sparkle, but said goodbye to Fennessy, DA, LH Cloudy, and Shadowburn. The LA Valiant released Space Cow, Agility, and Kari Vows. The Houston Outlaw picked up Blase. The Dallas Fuel acquired Decay for OGE from the LA Gladys. Arsenal will pinch it off him and Kronovi in the backfield. Wants to play defense. Wonder versus Sipical. This ball back down on the midfield line. Kronovi looks at it. Arsenal will fall back, respecting Kronovi's positioning. Kronovi keeps this one near himself in the air. Gets two defenders up for it. Here comes AJ looking for a shot. He puts it back towards the goal. It's off the crossbar and back out. Wonder with a follow-up shot, and it's through two defenders and in. That's a tie game. Wasn't the biggest fan of Kronovi's approach. I mean, he had two teammates off to his left and went straight through it. Unfortunately, Sipical doesn't get the strongest clear or the best follow-up. Wonder in a great spot in the midfield. Strong shot towards the top right. Save it if you can. Go. Here's Justin. A win from Cloud9. Turbo Pulsa over the edge. There's through one. Squishy. Up to gimmick. Nice setup. Here's Torment. No, he's too far back. And then RG. Oh, double right with the pressure on. Here's Turbo Pulsa out to Garrett G. I think he just needs a guy this one yeah. all the way in. That's an easy one. Is the miss wasn't there. And I just I wonder with that pressure from Torment had been there just a moment earlier, would we see the goal on the other end? Uh I don't think so. I'm pretty sure NRG would have been ready for any type of shot that came at him. But, I mean, that's not Gimmick's fault for being caught too far forward. It's just a miscommunication from Cloud9 on exchanging roles there. Another set of amazing highlights from the RLCS this week. And shouts out to NRG for clinching the playoff spot and being the only undefeated team in the Rocket League Championship Series so far. And that'll be all for this week. I'm your host, Byron Kent. This is Nucleus Esports.